I first learned about Tracy Peterson's Skinny Nelson fly pattern on my inaugural trip to Fort Smith, Montana to fish the Bighorn River. All the guides were using it, and it's still one of my most productive patterns today. A slightly more robust version was dreamed up after larger beta snips and midge larvae were showing up in my seine. A perfect opportunity to use the larva lace material that started it all. Of course, a good hook is where we begin, this being a Daiichi 1760 and a size 16. You know what to do with that barb. Get a base of thread started on the back side of the hook. Grab a hackle feather from a mini dry fly pack and splay those fibers so the tips are all even. Pinch them in between your thumb and your pointer finger while pulling back to tear them from the stem. Make sure they're about the same length as the hook shank before tying them in. Start with the fibers on the front side of the hook so that they roll onto the top of the hook shank when you tie them in. Trim off the butts as best you can before adding a few thread wraps to cover any excess. Now for the fun part. Reach for your larva lace body material. This is a stretchy synthetic tubing material that is hollow in the middle. Measure it out to be about three quarters length of the hook shank before trimming it at an angle to create a tapered point at the end. Next, grab some ordinary vegetable oil. Add a drop just on the front side of the hook. This will help the body material slide onto the shank. Use your thumb and pointer finger to wiggle the larva lace onto the hook and ultimately slide it back over the original tie-in point. Slow and steady wins the race and patience pays off. It may take a bit of coaxing to get the back side of the body material over the eye, but it slides on nice and easy once you do. Use a few loose thread wraps to grab the back side of the body material before adding tension to secure it in place. Use spiral wraps to come forward over the larva lace body material, creating a beautiful ribbing effect. Tightly secure your thread at the front of the hook and reach for silver angel flash. Trim four pieces from the hank and tie them in on top for a will-be wing case. After midnight dubbing works great for the thorax. Dub a sparse noodle and build a small ball just behind the eye. Add a few half hitches before bringing the flash material forward and securing it with two wraps over the top and two wraps in front. Get your favorite whip finish tool or add some half hitches to finalize. Then, tease out the dubbing material a bit for a natural, buggy effect. Not only is the full Nelson a really fun fly to tie, it seamlessly crosses over from beta nymph to a midge pattern with no additional effort. Tie up some today and make sure you ask your local fly shop about original larva lace products and visit hagensfish.com for more information and tying videos. Email Lori to order any of the products in this video and let her know if you have questions about materials that will help catch fish on your home waters. Like and subscribe for more larva lace videos and comment below with any patterns you'd like us to tie with quality larva lace synthetics. Until next time, tight lines and best fishes from Larva Lace.